Okay, Sid, I'm going to give you a video tour of our Itasca Sunflyer. There it is, Itasca. I've got some still pictures to send you, too. This is still a work in progress, so just know that. First of all, there's no flooring. We took the flooring out. We want to put in some vinyl uh, plank flooring that if it gets wet from people coming in and out or something leaks, it's not a big deal. We've redone the banquette. As you can see, I made cushions, cushion covers. They're Velcroed together so those can be taken off and they can be washed. Here's the little kitchenette. It's got a propane stove. Propane tank access to turn on and off is outside. There's the control center for everything. It's got a microwave and some built-in clocks, barometer, that sort of thing. All of the cabinets have had the doors taken off. Everything's been painted inside and out, so it's nice and clean. We did all the upper cabinets in white. We did the lower cabinets, as you can see, in gray. And there's a bank of drawers inside that just slide on rails for everything you might need. There's storage closet here for groceries or items that need to be hung up. Here is a refrigerator. We have not had to try it yet. We're told it works. I have no reason to believe it doesn't. But it's quite usable. We have painted the shower and you can use an extension rod with a shower curtain that goes inside. I'm not going to bother with a door if you wanted to do that. There's also shower rod hangers here so it can be used as a closet if you stay somewhere that you would rather use their showers. Coming into the bedroom, we've already painted all of the cabinetry inside and out, put the doors back on, all the latches work. This air conditioner, to our knowledge, does not work. We were told it's not needed. The main one gives you plenty of air. All the windows open and close. We've put on blinds, mini blinds. Probably need to be anchored down at the bottom with Velcro. There is storage under the bed. It's a queen size bed with a nice foam uh, mattress and it's already in case you didn't notice wired for sound there's an electrical outlet there's lights the both of those work we've replaced most of the light fixtures in here with LED fixtures and they all work because we have it plugged in now opposite the shower is the bathroom with a door that opens. We've put on new hardware. We've painted most of the toilet on the outside because it was really yellow and ugly. And everything should work fine. We haven't done cleanup because we're still working doing the floor. The, the sink and fixture here have been painted. They should work perfectly. We've put in some nice accoutrements. That's a mirror. And you can see a fish we hung on the wall. And here is a uh, medicine cabinet. And there's additional access panel over here and some storage under the sink and our little fancy toilet paper holder. So bathroom and uh, sewage should be completely useful and usable, I mean. There's a door to close off this section from the main. It's an accordion door. <clears throat> Back through the kitchenette again. The main air conditioner right here does leak when it operates. It spits water. That's one of the reasons for wanting to put down a vinyl floor. It needs to be taken loose at the roof and a new and thicker uh, gasket put under it and then put back. There are videos on YouTube how to do that if y'all want to do it yourself. We're hoping to have somebody do it because we're both too old and fragile. <laughs> we have not put up the blinds here yet. There's still the curtains that came with it. There's also a fold-out sofa. We haven't put the legs on it because we've got to figure out a way to bolt it down. It was not bolted down. And opposite the sofa, 
is a small cabinet for whatever you want to put in there while you're traveling and room to put glasses. There's a, a table that attaches to that that swings out and two captain's chairs that go on either side of it. And they're of the same fabric as the chairs in the front of the cab. They swivel. And so someone could sit back here once it's all bolted in and fixed and play cards, have some drinks that go into this little thing. Again, we haven't put the uh, blinds up here. The curtains are still up. Uh, this holds a color television. All the hookup and everything's there. The antenna is on the roof, which you can crank up if you want to get local stations. Above the cab area is another bed that drops down. We've dropped it down. It looks good and stable. You know, I wouldn't put anybody over 300 pounds in there, but you can probably put a couple of kids in there, or a couple of decent sized adults. And on the opposite side, above the cab section, it's again, wired for sound. There's some storage bins up there. This is a lot of our work materials that we've just set aside in the cab, cab section. Entry is either from the back door where I came in or from the driver's side door. There is no uh, passenger side door. So you would have to come out over the hump right there, which is where you get access to the engine in addition to in the front. It's got a Pioneer CD player stereo. That's the auxiliary generator that shows the time on it. I think it's like 834.7 hours. It runs. We've heard it run. We've seen it run. And then here are some other gauges for your voltmeter, your fuel. It has two fuel tanks. The odometer says 29,005. My understanding is that the odometer and speedometer are not operative right now. They can be replaced. Uh, here's your other controls where the key goes and a leveling bubble. So when you set it up, you can level it. So that's pretty much the interior tour.